Hello, I'm Kim Sharkey, Operations Officer for the Florida Division of Emergency Management in the State Watch Office. The following is your daily situation report for March 16, 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently at Level 3 or monitoring status. All nuclear power plants are operating at normal capacity. There are no energy outages reported in the state of Florida. All airports and seaports are open and functioning normally. All major highways in the state are open or will be open within the next 12 hours. There have been no health advisories issued for the state of Florida, and there are no confirmed or suspected major attacks on any major computer network within the state of Florida. There are also no known border security or migrant issues at this time. And now for our weather. Thank you, Kim. A stalled frontal boundary extending from around Charleston to Mobile Bay in New Orleans will finally get a nudge south and east later today and tonight. In the meantime, though, another round of upper-level disturbances in a secondary weak area of low pressure will move northeast along the stationary front and result in the continuation of isolated to scattered showers over the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend through the morning. A large upper-level trough of low pressure located over the Plains states this morning will move eastward today, finally pushing the stalled front to the south and east, across the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend this afternoon, and then to the Florida Peninsula later tonight into Tuesday morning. Rain will begin to decrease from west to east this evening and tonight, with isolated showers remaining possible over the eastern Big Bend and northeast Florida Peninsula through early Tuesday morning. Instability with the passing front will be rather weak, but a few strong thunderstorms could develop with gusty winds and heavy rainfall. However, widespread severe weather is not expected and will likely decrease in intensity tonight as the front moves further into the Florida Peninsula. Central and South Florida areas will remain under the control of high pressure today before rain chances increase across the northern and central peninsula late tonight. A few showers will be possible this morning and this afternoon along the east and west coast sea breezes. However, mostly dry and warm conditions will remain across much of the area through this evening. Tonight, isolated to widely scattered showers may begin to affect northern portions of central Florida this evening through the overnight hours, with areas of fog developing over south Florida. The rainfall will then affect the rest of the central and southern Florida peninsula Peninsula on Tuesday. For drought conditions, the Keach Fire Drought Index average for the state of Florida is now 566 on a scale of 0 to 800. Current rainfall is reducing KBDI values in the Florida Panhandle, but 15 Florida counties in the Florida Peninsula are now reporting average KBDI values above 675. Over half of Florida is experiencing extremely dry soil conditions. However, some much needed rainfall is forecast for North Florida areas today and then across Central and South Florida areas on Tuesday. However, generally light rainfall amounts are forecast for the peninsula, and a high risk of wildfires is expected to continue through this week. Remember fire safety rules for the prevention of wildfires. Always fully extinguish open flames, including cigarettes and campfires. Follow local regulations for burning or disposal of yard waste or other materials. Keep gutters, eaves, and yards clear of debris. For more fire safety tips, visit www.firewise.org. That's all we have for you today. Have a great day.